sincerely welcome you to this Remembering the Holocaust poetry reading. My name is Stephanie, and today it will be my pleasure to share with you three poems about the Holocaust, either written from Holocaust survivors or those that experienced the Holocaust and did not survive. Um, these poems are a powerful, moving, and vivid reminder of this historical event. Let's begin. The first poem we are going to explore is called First They Came, and it's by Pastor Martin Niemöller. Now, initially, um, this individual was actually a Nazi supporter, and he had anti-Semitic views. Um, this changed for him when he himself became imprisoned by the Nazis and was sent to a concentration camp um, because he started speaking out against Nazi control of churches. So this poem is really about this experience for him. There's also different kind of versions of this poem, but I'm gonna stick with this one. First they came. First they came for the communists and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialist and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionist and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. The second poem is called Never Shall I Forget by Elie Wiesel, originally from Transylvania Bazal and his family were deported to Auschwitz when he was 15. Uh, his mother and his younger sister died there. Later, him and his father were transported to Buchenwald, where his father passed away as well. So only Wiesel and his two older si sisters survived. Um, as an adult, uh, Wiesel became a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and he worked on behalf of oppressed people for the rest of his life. Never shall I forget. Never shall I forget that night, the first night in camp, that turned my life into one long night, seven times sealed. Never shall I forget that smoke. Never shall I forget the small faces of the children, whose bodies I saw transformed into smoke under a silent sky. Never shall I forget those flames that consumed my faith forever. Never shall I forget the nocturnal silence that deprived me for all eternity of the desire to live. Never shall I forget those moments that murdered my God and my soul and turned my dreams to ashes. Never shall I forget those things, even were I condemned to live as long as God himself. Never. Now the final poem we'll explore today is called Fear by Eva Pekova. Eva Pekova was born in what is now the Czech Republic in 1929. Uh, she was first deported to Terezin, a Nazi concentration camp. And in 1942, she ended up being transported to Auschwitz and she passed away there in 1943. This poem was discovered after um, the Terezin camp was liberated. Fear by Eva Pekova. Today, the ghetto knows a different fear. Close in its grip, death wields an icy scythe. An evil sickness spreads terror in its wake, and the victims of its shadow weep and writhe. Today, a father's heartbeat tells his fright, and mothers bend their heads into their hands. Now children choke and die with typhus here. A bitter tax is taken from their bands. My heart still beats inside my breast, while friends depart for other worlds. Perhaps it's better, who can say, than watching this to die today. No, no, my God, we want to live, not watch our numbers melt away. We want to have a better world, we want to work. We must not die. Once again, this is Stephanie from the Scott County Public Library in Georgetown, Kentucky, signing off. Have a good day.